Series Secretary General, the awards for 2019 Athlete and Coach of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes. Well, here they come. Time for gold in the recurve mixed teams. The familiar Gabriella Schlusser and Chef Vandenberg from the Netherlands lead out the lineup for this gold medal. They will face Bangladesh, Dira Sadiq, and the roundly popular Ruman Shana, who's just picked up the 2019 Athlete of the Year. And their opponents shooting on target number two, representing the Netherlands. We have the woman who will be the first Dutch Olympian in more than two decades, Gabriella Schlosser. And the man who finished fourth at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, please welcome Chef Van den Beck. The line judge for this matchup is Bettina Katsmuda. Well, there we have it. The lineups for this match. As uh, our stadium announcer said, Chef Vandenberg, fourth place at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, teaming up with Gabriella Schlusser, who will be Holland's first ever female archer at a Games in Tokyo. But they're up against the incredibly popular, arguably the most popular man on the circuit, Ruman Shana of Bangladesh who's teamed up with Daya Siddique. And it is a massive sport in Bangladesh. A lot of people from Bangladesh will be watching this. It will be Schlosser though of the Netherlands who will get us underway. A bit of a grimace there from Chef Vandenberg. He does tend to have a little bit of a longer hold than most. Yeah, you could see a big correction. He tried to bring his arm over to the left as he knew it was going to hit the right, but not enough. Oh, here's the man who's taken or already booked a quota spot for Bangladesh at the Olympic Games. So and in fact, actually trained at this centre for a year be before moving home. Just it was a slightly picked up here. Okay. A slight so overcorrection and uh, two sevens for the Bangladeshi team. Not the start they were looking for, Nikki. No, I do wonder if that wind is sort of coming into that corner of the stadium. When they uh, create these kind of stadiums, you do get a bit of a swirling wind, a different effect. Um, so that may well be affected. Yeah. Yeah. Well, out of reach now for the Bangladesh team. 36 is enough to secure the two set points, but you can bet your bottom dollar that Sadiq and Shana will want to shoot these two arrows as well as they possibly can to prepare for the second set. Not quite the start they were hoping for, is it? No, um, you know, both of them are, are relatively inexperienced, um, you know, and they've got to take this time to, you know, relax in this big pressure arena um, and get used to it. So these arrows are important for them, trying to get recentered and, and just get used to the pressure. Eight. Well, as you can see, a big spread for them with 30. Well, I potential 40, not enough uh, to challenge the, the Netherlands. A uh, confident start from Schlusser and Vandenberg. Two, uh, two set points to nil up already after the first eight uh, arrows in the first set of this gold medal match. Uh, and you talk about uh, not quite so experienced, uh, Sadiqe and Shana, but it's a huge sport in Bangladesh. It's the second biggest sport in, in Bangladesh. 
this advantage. Let's two I feel that there might be a bit of a weight of expectation on them. They, they, they're going to know that a lot of their countrymen will be watching this. Yeah, these events are, you know, the highest events you know, World Archery put on. So, you know, being in this arena is a different experience um, and something they've not really experienced much before. Dia yeah, only being 17 years old, you know, it's, a, it's probably a new, a new thing for her to feel this pressure. And it's hard to recreate that in practice. You know, there's lots you can do to mentally prepare yourself, but... And there's nothing like standing there on that shooting line with all these cameras that you can see around them in your face. I'm so excited. I don't even understand. It is a final Especially after the, the time off that, that we've had. Indeed, so much passion, so much Nobody's emotion. really had any on recent field, experience in this, but certainly Vandenberg and Schlusser will be more comfortable being in this arena. Slate is wiped clean, though, for the second set, and Shana. As I said, very popular uh, around the circuit, but he's known as a bit of a demon archer. Very focused. Killer instinct in his eyes. It's time for set number two. much better from them. Can you hear the communication? You know, they're talking to each other constantly. Where are you aiming? What are you doing? You know, was that a good shot? So that's really important and a good result for them. No. see the time o'clock ticking down as no. an archer you can't see that when you're at full draw so your teammates are there to guide you if you're taking too long they'll give you some advice and let you know where you're at with it particularly on that the last two arrows of how much time's left wind picking up again oh, the Bangladesh is no. 17 year old has put down her second at nine of this set can Sharma go one better little bit of pressure on the Netherlands. It's just drifted eight. high and into the eight. So 35 for them. Well, five points better than their first set. And as you can see, there's a three point margin of error for the Netherlands here. Nine. Well, just drifting up into the eight himself, uh, 35 well, points for the Netherlands, matches at Bangladesh. Uh, perhaps a bit of a missed opportunity for the Netherlands, but uh, it will give Bangladesh something. It would have been a little cruel if they hadn't got a, a single point out of that for Bangladesh. Yeah, and in the next set, I mean, a, a solid win in the next set would be enough for the Netherlands, so they're not quite out yet. They've really got to win this next set, the Bangladeshis. Team gold match. The the back. Take a look back. 17-year-old Daya Sadike looks very solid indeed. Just 17 years old. Doesn't look like she's affected too much by the pressure of this competition. You always get a good look from uh, Chef Vandenberg. Often very difficult to translate what he's thinking though. Looks disgusted there, but that was probably a nine. I think that was his last arrow, which was up into the eight, wasn't it? Which split the set for them. So he probably knew it just wasn't quite enough. He wanted to get that job done, um, but he needs to come back strong on this next set. Well, here we go. Trailing by three set points to one. Bangladesh up to the shooting line. They've got to win this clearly to stay in the match. Eight. 
Wind just coming from behind them then. Uh, potentially is the reason why the arrow's gone a little high. There's another one. Uh, is that is that the tailwind that's causing that? Do you it think? can be, yeah. It can push them a little bit higher. So people think more of the left and right winds which push the arrows uh, left and right on the target. But, uh, you know, a headwind or a tailwind can certainly push the arrows up and down as well. Quick release there. Just nine. on the line. Four and nine. With two eights from Bangladesh. He's left the door wide open here. Uh, there's the first 10 for Chef Vandenberg and look at that a three point lead halfway through what could be the final set of this gold medal match very quick shot there from no. Ruben Shana pressure on Diaz DK here I really could do with a 10 just to wind the pressure up a little bit, but even that probably won't scare the Netherlands too much. Nine. Another high one, but uh, this time in the nine for her as well. So 34 points, potential 39 available to the Netherlands. Schlusser with her final arrow of the set and probably the match. Eight. So need 35 to take the win here. And eight will do it. Oh, he's put it into the 10. Chef Vandenberg saving his best for last. And it's a 5-1 victory for Gabriela Schlusser and Chef Vandenberg of the Netherlands. Looking very strong indeed in that match. Promise being shown by the Bangladeshis, Dia Siddique and Ruman Shana. But in the end, the Netherlands were just too good and have taken gold here in Lausanne. Well, I know that uh, Chef and Gabby here see themselves as potential wild cards for the Olympics. Oh, I'm not sure they are wild cards for the Olympics. They, they look like a very strong unit. Yeah, they are, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> that last shot there, Chef was just coming up to full draw, I think, as the stadium announcer told him exactly what he needed in this final arrow. So what a great bit of pressure to add to him and a fantastic 10 he got with it. And they'll be standing on top of the podium a little a bit later on. I'm sure Chef would have taken the uh, stadium announcer's um, proclamation of what his requirements were uh, with a smile on his face, especially after he shot the 10, of course. Um, a 10 for Chef Vandenberg, finishing things off for Schlosser and Vandenberg for the Netherlands and Bangladesh. Looking well, so we getting a lot of experience, you have to say, uh, having made this final. But they walk away with silver medal from Lausanne.